Hi. I should have had a spiel all, all done. <laughs> should have written the script. Uh, <laughs> okay, so welcome to Resident Experts. This is our inaugural episode. Uh, we're hoping to explore some topics that incoming students and their parents have a lot of questions about. Um, so this episode is going to be all about what to pack. Uh, I'm Chrissy. I'm digital communications specialist with the DOR. Would you both like to introduce yourselves to? Yeah. Uh, I'm Cody. Uh, I work as a coordinator for Residence Life um, with our Union Drive Residence Hall. So Martin, Eaton, Friley, and Telzer, and all the staff and students who live there. And then my name is Kelsey. I'm a resident assistant in Helzer, but for the summer, I'm currently in Jewelry. Awesome. Okay. Well, uh, so we wanted to kick this off with a little bit of a game. So should we start with the game? Sounds great. Okay. The first, if you've seen categories, viewers, listeners, um, categories, you have like a topic and then you need to make a list and then people who have the same thing, you don't get a point for that. For the, the unique things, you get a point. So we're going to do that, but the top 10 things students should have in the dorm or oftentimes forget. Okay. Who wants to go first? I can go first. <laughs> Sounds great. I made a list of things students often forget. Mm -hmm. So first, shower shoes, an umbrella, medicine, mini vacuum, a couple of business casual outfits, some sort of lighting like a lamp or string lights, mm -hmm. a couple of dishes, batteries, an easy to carry laundry basket, and cleaning supplies. Those are all really good. I didn't have any of those. I had, I had a couple of them, but not not all of them. A few, a few, a few are the same. Do you okay. want me to go now? Yeah, yeah, now you go. All right, yeah. So um, once again, in no particular order, similar, I um, I said updated prescriptions if you needed that for medication though as well. Um, I uh, also said a basic toolkit because you never know when you're going to need a screwdriver until you need it. Um, rechargeable hand warmers, if you have those to keep with you to keep warm. Uh, I had all-purpose cleaners, um, basic first aid kit. Um, a coffee maker or a kettle if you like tea because sometimes you don't want to leave right away when you want that in the morning. Um, snacks, whatever your favorite snacks are. An extra charging cable because inevitably one of them breaks. Uh, and then the last one was a lockbox for like social security card if folks bring that or anything else that folks want to keep secure. That's a really good question. Over orientation, we had several parents ask, like, does the desk lock? The desk does not lock. So if you do want something that locks, that would be a good item to bring for sure. Okay, my things were blue painter's tape. People bring command strips all the time. Blue painter's tape doesn't chip paint ever. If you just want to hang posters, it's a good idea. Scissors, people always bring stuff that they need to open and then like you can't open that because you don't have scissors. Screwdrivers, again, a door stop because yeah. you should leave your door open. A broom, now your house or your hall might have a broom you can borrow, but I think you probably sweep more often if it's looking you in the face, personally. <laughs> um, air fresheners, like a plug-in air freshener. A tray for your shower caddy to sit on so your closet doesn't get all yucky. A bathrobe. And then dish soap and dish towels. Right. Yes. That's what I had. I think we're all winners, actually. So um, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys candy. Dang. Nice. <laughs> we. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Um, okay, so we talked a little bit about furniture there. Should we go a little bit more in depth about furniture stuff? Maybe you could start off with what's in Joe Free right now. Sure, so when you go into your room in Joe Free, you're gonna have your standard bed, whether it's lofted or unlofted, your desk, and then your wardrobe slash closet. And then it also comes with a recycling bin and a trash bin. Nice. And a desk chair too, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> I totally forgot about that one. Yes. Uh, my freshman year lived in Oak Elm. So the one thing different from that, like some of the older buildings do have a built-in closet. And then if you do have a built-in closet, you wouldn't get a wardrobe. You'd get like a standalone dresser. So uh, some of the newer buildings like Joe Free, Martin Eaton, they all have wardrobes. Helzer was just redone a few years ago. They have the new wardrobes now, um, but they're all pretty standard size. Yep. If they're all, I mean, I think the built uh, or the wardrobes are all are the same exact wardrobe in every mm -hmm. space so whatever you see wherever you traveled and, and visited when you were on campus is going to look the exact same if you have a, a wardrobe in your room mm -hmm. um you have a little bit more experience of about apartments though could you touch on apartment furniture yeah so um i think right the two different kinds of apartments that we have are fredericks and court apartments and then our uh, shoulder and university village suv apartments um in fredericks and court they're all going to be very very 
very similar to what Kelsey shared. Um, so it's going to come with a bed that's unlofted um, vast majority of the time. Um, then you're going to have a desk with a chair um, and then you'll have a laundry basket or not a laundry basket, a trash basket as well in your room, um, as well as a dresser, um, a three door dresser uh, as well. Um, and then in the common space for folks to be able to share, there's um, typically a um, comfy couch, um, a comfy chair uh, and then a uh, coffee table in the middle as well um, for folks to share too. And then usually a lamp as well in the uh, common space as well for folks to share. Um, in SUV, um, it depends. Um, half or not, I shouldn't say half, but some of our units have a very similar furniture setup. But then we also have some spaces that are unfurnished. And so you do need to bring everything that you would want for, for one of those spaces. But that's typically um, for upperclassmen or, or folks who are families. Mm -hmm. And the, what we're sitting on right now, this is stuff that's from our lot. So if yes. you're in Freddie and you, this is what our soft seating looks like. Let's let's go through some like bathroom items. So we talked about like medications, toiletries. Now, if you're going to be living in a suite style space and that adds some things, um, like a plunger, you don't yeah. want to wait till you need a plunger. Yes. To bring. <laughs> yes, plunger, toilet brush, all the good stuff. Yeah. All of that stuff. Yes. I think like you just said, it's good to have the bathroom stuff, um, you know, with you because I think sometimes we'll see, it's always better to stay on top of your bathroom cleaning and as opposed to getting to the end of the semester and then realizing that you really have a lot of cleaning that you, you have in front of you. So it's good to stay on top of that if, if you're able to, for sure. Totally agree. So, and then there's school supplies, obviously is a big part of college. And when you move in, you'll have your desk with a bookshelf on top, you have your desk chair, um, what kinds of things have you all found to be helpful for school supplies in the dorms? So me personally, I enjoy taking handwritten notes because I feel like I'm able to better retain the information. So I bring a couple notebooks, pens, pencils. I actually have my own stapler in my room because I find that a lot of people come to the desk often to use a stapler. I have scissors, I have whiteouts, so just your common normal school supplies. I think to touch on that too, Kelsey, is like specifically if you find a type of pen that you really like, a pen or a pencil, I know that some folks get really into it and specific about their preferred writing utensil, especially if you are someone who writes a lot of handwritten notes, um, can be a good one to go with as well. Um, and then I think too, just um, figuring out the best backpack for you, a um, backpack or messenger bag or whatever that looks like for you, because you'll be carrying that all across campus and taking you know, a little bit of your life with you wherever you go. And so having a bag that really supports what your specific needs are. That's a really good point. I think a lot of it is just figuring out what works for you. Um, as I was thinking through what things to bring, what things not to bring. And I was going to write down, well, don't bring note cards. Well, I didn't use note cards. I used post-it notes and then I stuck them all over my wall. That's what worked for me. <laughs> but some people did make a lot of flashcards and for them, the note card thing worked better for them. So it, it is just a lot of yeah. exploration and it might not be exactly the same as the studying you did in high school so yeah it's a little bit different um so your dorm space is also going to be your bedroom bedroom supplies um so we talked about furniture your bed come you comes a lofted bed with an extra long twin mattress so you probably need extra long twin sheets yes. <laughs> other suggestions yeah, so I think especially, um, you know, looking for something that makes home, it feel like home to you, right? So if there's something that when you bring from your house or something that you can find when you're out shopping that reminds you of home, I think that's something that can be really good. Um, for me, when I moved in, um, recognizing like you just said, um, you have to get an extra long sheets and pillows and typically not something that folks have before they come to to, to college and so for me I was very intentional about what that spread looked like because I wanted it to be something that kind of matched where I'd been coming from to bring um, some of that home with for sure. Mm -hmm. I know not everybody brings it but I know some people will bring a mattress topper mm -hmm. just in case they feel as though the mattress isn't as soft or as comfortable mm -hmm. as they thought it would be. Absolutely and a really uh, a pretty easy way to make the mattress softer for folks if it isn't quite what you're looking too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My nephew uh, is starting college and he's been talking to me a lot about what to pack. Um, and one thing that he was thinking about was like a bedside lamp or like things you need to have by your bed. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to think back as like, 
well, you know what? I think really when I was in my bed, I was just like asleep. Mm. But <laughs> do you have different opinions? Have you seen different people do different things? I mean, I think that the, the lamp is a really good idea if that's something that you want, especially if you're someone who likes to avoid the big light uh, mm -hmm. in your room. Um, I think that's a really, really good idea um, to have as well. Um, I think too, depending if you're someone who is on your phone when you're in bed, making sure that you have a long enough cord to reach the outlet to wherever you do have your bed at, especially if you decided to loft your bed as well, because you need to um, come up a little bit there. Um, those are the two I'd think about. So going off of the charger, I definitely agree because my bed is lofted right now in Joe and I didn't want to unloft it for two and a half months. <laughs> a 10 foot charger, that's the specific size you need <laughs> and that's going to get the job done. But I agree with the lighting because I don't have a bedside table. I just have a remote for my string lights. Mm -hmm. This alternate on and off when I need to. And I think that's about it. I don't keep much by my bedside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the next thing, cooking kitchen supplies. Um, different spaces on campus have different kitchenettes. Joffrey has a new kitchenette. Helzer has a new kitchenette. Um, what kinds of cooking kitchen things would you recommend? So I wouldn't recommend bringing pots and pans and the big cooking supplies because that's those are all items you can check out at the hall desk. And all you need to do is bring your ID. They'll check it out for you when you're ready to return it. You'll get them your ID and then they'll check it right back in. So I'd say some Tupperware. So you can bring your food to your room, a couple of plates, a couple of bowls, and then definitely silverware. And then I think that'll definitely get you by for the school year. Yeah, I think exactly what you shared, you know, having specifically two sets of plates, um, bowls and utensils, because, you know, forks and spoons, they get they get dirty really easily. Um, similarly, I think it's really, really a good idea um, to bring washable fork, knife, um, spoon, as well as opposed to um, disposable, because you can go through those really, really quickly. Um, similarly um, to that, I agree that, you know, I think almost every single one of our uh, hall desks has pots and pans that you can check out. If you want to bring something, um, you are more than welcome to, but that is something that's available to folks. Um, and then the other piece too, uh, like I think shared a little bit previously is um, if, if you are interested in having a, um, a coffee maker or a tea kettle or a microwave in your, in your room as well, I know that oftentimes folks will have microwaves available too. Mm -hmm. So what all, other things might be at the hall desk. So if you're thinking about things to pack, um, what other things could we find at the hall desk to use? I feel like it's kind of hard for me to say because I've only ever worked in Helzer and Joffrey. And so I'm hoping that what's there is kind of at every single desk, but I know you'll have your games, you'll have your cooking supplies. You can check out brooms, you can check out um, an ironing board and an iron, we have that at Hoser. So that's something I'd also recommend not bringing if you don't iron your clothes a lot. I feel like I'm kind of drawing a blank on a lot of stuff you can check out. <laughs> uh, well, I think that was a really good list. I think a very like, those are the things that are gonna be at pretty much every desk. But I think the other really good thing to know um, is that as you get moved in, if you're like, it would be really nice if we had this item to check out, um, you can talk with your house or your hall um, government and they can move ahead in, in purchasing those items potentially if there's something that it seems would be helpful to the entire community. Um, it's definitely something that we've seen happen before too. Um, and I, uh, similar to what you had shared, uh, with, with the um, ironing board and the iron. I think that, that sometimes that can be a really big uh, space filler in a room. And so we do have that accessible. Um, so if I think even the uh, thing I'd recommend as opposed to an ironing board to, as a tangent, um, is if you have a steamer to, to help steam your clothes to get wrinkles. I think that's a lot more space efficient for folks. That's something that people are looking for as well, for sure. I would agree. I also had that like downy wrinkle release spray. Yeah. Maybe yeah. probably I shouldn't say any brands, but the wrinkle <laughs> release spray. <laughs> the, yeah, that's super helpful uh, for sure. Yeah. I was thinking about that hall desk stuff. I remember uh, when I was an, an RA, we still had VHS tapes. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> so that's probably not a thing you'll find at a hall desk anymore, but it can be just be a good place to find, yeah, like a vacuum cleaner potentially if there's one working 
or maybe they could ask to get a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. And for moving in and moving out, they've got dollies and carts to help you get things into rooms as well. So that's really helpful for move in, move out, um, or if you decide to buy something in the middle of the semester as well. Mm, that's super helpful. You get a bigger TV in the middle of the year. Um, so speaking of those things, cleaning supplies. All right, so I'm gonna move in to my dorm. Uh, it might be uh, kind of a smaller space. We're thinking about small space. We can check some things out. What kinds of cleaning supplies would you recommend for being the best? For me, um, I think of just like a uh, standard, like a disinfectant spray and wipes to take. I think that, that either that or the disinfectant wipes, whatever, whatever is your personal preference is a really good way to go. Um, also just like standard dish soap, because you're going to need that for your dishes inevitably. Um, and then, uh, other thing I think, you know, for me, um, you can check out a broom oftentimes, but if you're someone who has something, um, fabric, maybe a small handheld vacuum can be really, really helpful too, if that's something that you want. Um, yeah, those are the things that I kind of think about off the top of my head though. Yeah. I would agree with all of those. I'd say the only extra thing I have that you didn't have is a duster. Mm -hmm. I know everybody won't have one, but sometimes I just notice like maybe if a surface wasn't touched a lot, like maybe it doesn't need to be wiped down first. Maybe I just need to dust it and then spray and clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Disinfecting wipes are really handy. Um, paper towels. I think people just don't always think about. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're going to like inevitably spill a pop in the middle of the night and like not know what to do. <laughs> yes. And similarly, not necessarily a cleaning supply, but tissue because you don't need tissues until you really need to have some around and you don't really want to go shopping for them then. And that's an excellent point. Yeah. So this, this is a, a bigger question. Wall hanging materials. You move into a dorm, the walls are blank and white. I want to make it look pretty. What are the best ways to hang things? I would say command strips and hooks, like as long as you're careful taking them down for the most part, they won't chip the wall. And then I know you mentioned painter's tape, which never came to mind to me for some reason. Like I've never thought to use painter's tape. I was like command strips, command hooks, like, but yes, those are your go-tos. You'll see everybody buying them. Yeah, I think those, those ones, um, the only other one is if you're someone who's hanging a lot of lighter like paper type things um you know there are like pre like divided poster putty squares that can be really easy to that i just found recently so that's the other one that i would say but yeah any of those like sticky things that pull off really quickly so that they're not damaging the wall are a great way to go yeah i agree people always sleep on painter's tape but i love <laughs> painter's tape <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's excellent okay um we talked about hall desk things um, roommate stuff. Okay. So what should you talk to your roommate about when you move in? Um, you could ask like what they're bringing because I know me and my roommate, our freshman year, I had my own fridge. She had her own fridge. We both had our own microwaves and that's okay. But I know some people will often share that just in case they want to like save up on money. Mm -hmm. So asking if they're bringing a microwave, a fridge, a TV, because I know having two TVs in a room won't be, <laughs> it's gonna take up a decent amount of space. Um, if they have a big rug that they're bringing, possibly a futon, yeah. because I know bringing seating, if you're bringing a futon, she's bringing a futon, like mm -hmm. it's gonna take up a lot of space. <laughs> yeah, yep. I think that exactly what you shared is really important, just talking about those things. Um, and then I'm sure there's a lot more information separate from here. Um, but then there's also an opportunity to complete a roommate agreement too. Once, um, you do get moved in, I think that's really good just to have some of those conversations. Um, just regardless of if you do know that person or if they are someone who are you just meeting, um, just so you can set standard expectations within the space so that you can address any concerns before they become problems. The roommate agreement is so important. Um, but also when you're looking at what to bring, um, people might want to look at floor plans. I think a lot of roommates come in like already having a layout in mind. Um, so there are floor plans on our website. Um, they will soon be in the star res housing portal. So the same place you send your contract. Um, so folks, if you look up your floor plan, the little dots are square footage. So you can count out the square footage. Some people like to use Legos or some, and that someone this summer that had it all drawn up in uh, CAD. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a I'm a software nerd. I was like, actually, that's amazing. You should always do that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's just to help figure out. And you know what? You might change your mind three times in a year, and that's fine. 
Okay, so this is kind of a different question. If you're coming from a different climate, what kinds of clothing should you be thinking about? If you're, if you're new to Iowa, you're new to the Midwest, we have weird winter. I'd say if you're not used to the four different seasons, make sure that you're ready for winter, especially. So make sure you bring a coat, you bring boots for the snow, hats, earmuffs, gloves, all that, because you don't want to go outside and like maybe a jacket you'd wear in the spring and the snow is coming down, you're going to be really cold. <laughs> yep, yep. I think that's exactly right. I think the biggest tip I can give is just to bring layers because uh, especially as we get into the fall and the spring, in the morning you want warm layers and in the afternoon you might just want a t-shirt and shorts. Um, and, and similar to what was shared too, um, if you're not sure for a winter coat yet, you can wait until you get to campus. There are plenty of folks who can help uh, send you in the right direction for uh, the level of warmth that you might want once that time comes. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's so true. Something that was always hard for me to balance was like you're walking across campus. So it's like exercise. You're kind of sweaty, but like your face is cold. <laughs> so the layers are really helpful. And you might decide you don't like one kind of coat and you like this other kind of coat better. It's maybe a little trial by error. Um, but for sure, good walking shoes that don't slip, like have a good tread on them, I think is really helpful. I have one more game left. Is there anything that we skipped over that you would like to add to the conversation? Um, I don't think so. I think, you know, the only other thing, and I think Tim touched on it, was, um, you know, there are lots of great, you know, dining options on campus and things like that. Um, but just making sure that you have the snacks that you like in your room because you're going to be snackish at some point. So I think that's the only other one that I, I couldn't think of. That's a good point. That's a good point. It's, it's, it's all a learning curve, right? Like just figuring out what you like, what works well for you, what, yeah. So that's good snacks. Okay. You guys ready for our last? Okay. So our closing game, similar to our opening game, but about things that people might bring and then maybe don't use that much. So I think you could maybe skip. Who wants to start? You can start. Me? Can start. I can start this <laughs> time. Absolutely. Yeah, to the list. absolutely. Um, so my list was, um, trash cans specifically in the residence halls because they are already provided um single use appliances and what i meant by that was like things that only make one thing like a waffle maker or a breakfast sandwich maker now some of these are also policy violations but also some that you can bring but i've so often seen in those situations that you might use it once or twice and then i get shoved to the back of the closet so you know, single use things i just i don't necessarily see unless you're someone who knows that you're going to use it every day mm -hmm. um other ones uh flash drives um just because we have able to have things either online um or if you do have something that you need to keep offline i recommend going for a full external hard drive but we do a flash drive or um, cloud uh, capabilities available um also and i know we kind of talked about this I removed, or I said not an iron or an ironing board, um, and instead to bring a steamer or um, uh, wrinkle uh, spray. Um, for you specifically, if you're someone who likes to read leisurely, um, being intentional about the books that you bring. I know my first year, I brought like my entire library with me. Not something I should have done because I should have brought just a few books. We also have the Iowa State Library and the Ames Public Library. So um, just once again, really heavy to carry. Um, so, so that was one of the things too. Um, like we shared, candles or incense because that's a policy violation. Um, then I also said all your clothes um, because oftentimes, you know, if you've been living at home for multiple years, you've really, you know, stocked up a supply. Um, so just being intentional about what you bring there. Um, similar to that, just duplicate items in general. Um, you know, it might be good to bring one or two, um, but five of the same item, um, depending on if it's something that you use a ton. Um, and then the last item I said um, was anything that's super, super sentimental. Um, I think it's good to bring things that remind you of home, good to bring things um, that, you know, can, can take that back for you as well. Um, but also recognizing that you're moving and that you'll be moving several more times um, as well. And so if there's something that you are, like, is really valuable, um, you know, very, very sentimental, um, if that's something, you know, that you don't want to bring with, just something to be to be mindful of, of too. That's a really good point. That's good. <laughs> I said um, a printer because you're allowed to print at the library mm -hmm. and you're going to be giving credits a certain amount of credits depending on your major. Um, candles, cooking supplies, because you can check those out at the desk. Certain kitchen appliances, because if you're not an avid 
coffee drinker, you're not going to want a Keurig. If you're not eating toasted bagels all the time, you're not going to want a toaster in your room. Um, a space heater, too many clothes because the wardrobes can only fit so many clothes. I know mine pile up on my futon all the time. <laughs> um, too many notebooks, pens and pencils if you're not using them that often. An iron and an ironing board. Too much furniture and then a trash can because the rooms come up a lot. Good. Okay, so all three of us had iron and ironing board. <laughs> I also had DVD player. I, I I don't know if people, a lot of people don't even bring TVs anymore. If you see, you have a bunch of DVDs at home, you maybe aren't going to be using, using them that much. A uh, crock pot, um, maybe you aren't going to be making a stew in between classes. <laughs> um, drawstring bags, partially. Drawstring bags, I don't think are really hefty enough for class use. And you're probably also going to start collecting them once you get to campus. Also true. Absolutely. <laughs> if you like taking them to the gym, that's great. You'll probably get one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I also said a bunch of purses because for me specifically, um, I thought, okay, well, I've always carried a purse. I'll carry a purse with me to class. So I have a purse and a backpack. I didn't need to do that. I was doing too much. <laughs> so I put all the stuff in my purse in my backpack. I didn't, I didn't need to be doing that. Um, a bunch of cooking utensils or big cooking utensils, a printer, cash for dining centers because dining centers are not cashless um, and porters for laundry as laundry it all goes through the speed queen app now so two educational plugs <laughs> okay i think we all won that one too do you want more candy sure <laughs> okay <laughs> well uh if if that's all that you guys have, I really appreciate your time and willingness to help us talk about packing lists. Um, and we will put this on YouTube and Spotify and join us next time for the next thing. You tell us what you want to learn about. Uh, so we will keep this ball rolling. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>